when we think of religions, we think in terms of the worship of a supreme deity. Religions have their own set of rules, commandments, and in some cases, their own prophets. But there are religions out there that may have all of these components, but they do not claim to worship one supreme deity. Hello and welcome back to another episode of FTV Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and today we're going to be looking at a list of 10 religions and churches that do not believe in God, along with some religions that don't specifically point towards a worshiping entity. Either way, guys, with that said, let's jump in and uncover these religions. Starting off at number 10, we have the Church of Maradona. So just like Christians, they follow Jesus, right? Well, the Church of Maradona, they follow Diego Maradona, the Argentinian footballer, you know, he's their guiding light. The church has over half a million members and they celebrate Maradona's birthday, which falls on October 30th as Christmas. And for New Year's Eve, they celebrate it before his birthday on October 29th instead of January 1st. They have a religious calendar that started in the year 1960 when Maradona was born. Baptism is associated with scoring a goal with the left fist, just as Maradona did in the 1986 World Cup. Now, the church has its own Ten Commandments that make the followers change their middle name to Diego and name their first son Diego also. The Church of Maradona has made Diego Maradona parallel to Jesus, and they praise him and they even pray to him. Number nine leads us to Judaism. This religion, the full name either way, is the Church of the Latter-day Dude. And the followers of this religion follow a simple code, and that is, life is short, so take it easy. Judas, they don't believe in God, but they also don't focus on his non-existence either. They're just unsatisfied with the available religious options, so they opt to go with an open religion. They add and remove anything from their religion as they like, and Judaism has some of the greatest dudes in history. Many of them claim to be prophets. Moving on to number eight, we have Wicca. Now, Wicca has been surrounded with controversy because it consists of things like witchcraft and magic. And the followers of this religion mostly like worshiping independently, but they sometimes form covens. The coven of the Griffin Wiccan Church in Los Angeles and the church and school of Wicca are two examples of the religious places of the Wiccans. Wiccans say they sympathize with the people that became target sacrifices in the name of religion. Now, the members of Wicca, they can do anything they like as long as it doesn't harm anyone. There is no specific structure of this religion. They just worship according to the phases of the moon and don't believe in any god. All right, coming in at number seven, we have this group of people who believe that Kanye West is the god and savior of humankind. Yeah. The followers of Jesus call themselves disciples, and they often have multiple religions. Followers believe in good deeds and actions that contribute to society's betterment and see human suffering as a way of becoming more creative. In case you are wondering, no, Kanye West does not have any sort of association himself with this particular religion, right? It's not related to the Church of Jesus in any way. And yeah, he's definitely not God there. Moving on to number six, we have Copimism. This is a rather bizarre kind of church that is not related to any God, but has a unique belief. The Missionary Church of Copimism is against copyright law and its members believe copyright laws should not exist and no one should be given access to someone's private information. But they say that everyone should be allowed to download, copy, and upload files without any problem. Isaac Gerson is the founder of Copimism and this religion doesn't follow any commandments or sacred books or anything, but Control c and Control v are considered religious symbols by its followers. By the way, if you don't know, Control c copy, Control v paste, just some keyboard shortcuts for you. Halfway to number five, we have the Church of Cannabis. 
As the name suggests, the people of the Church of Cannabis smoke cannabis so that they can turn into better versions of themselves. Cannabis is not their god though, but it bonds the members together. The followers of this church don't have any specific religious guide or anything like that. They just believe in the code of treating others the way you would want to be treated. Members are free to believe in any god that they choose, and they consider smoking and distributing cannabis as an act of worship, so they do it together during their worship sessions. Our number four religion focuses on worshiping and getting touched by the fictional flying spaghetti monster. Its followers consider it sacred to be touched by its noodle appendages. Pastafarians say that pirates were the first worshippers of the flying spaghetti monster and that the Christian churches gave them a bad image. Pastafarians, they strongly believe that heaven has a beer volcano and a stripper factory. Just like Christians, these people are also against abortion, but they say that men who wear tight pants or use hot water jacuzzis are actually guilty of abortion. From there, we move on to number three, the first church for animal rights. And you're probably thinking that, yeah, this list can't get any stranger, but yeah, let's jump into this one, number three. This group's first and only meeting was held in 1921, and almost 300 people participated in it. And the entire focus of the church is on animal rights, and it's promoting the rights of animals and ensuring that they are given the same importance as human rights. The church recognized the Bible as their sacred book, but they only followed the verses which were in favor of animal rights. The founders of this religion were Jews, but there has been no recent activity by this group at all. But yeah, they believe that human life and animal life and the rights of humans and animals are equal. Number two, the Church of Euthanasia. While there's still a whole lot of debate about the current birth rate in the world and abortions and things like that, well, the followers of the Church of Euthanasia, they believe that cannibalism, abortion, and taking one's own life are all justified and humans have destroyed the planet, so they also support wars and epidemics. It was founded by Reverend Chris Corda, and they dreamed that they met an alien that gave a warning about the slow destruction of planet Earth. And the only commandment that this church believes in is this, thou shalt not procreate. Now, ending this list off at number one, we have the Church of B which believes that Beyonce is not a goddess, rather she's a deity that sits on the throne of God. Also, they believe that Beyonce is only in the world to spread the gospel through her music and will leave for her throne once she's done. They also have a Beyonce-inspired religious book called the Bible, and the idea of the church came to the mind of Pauline John Andrews when she was drinking and smoking marijuana with her friends and she just got the idea out of nowhere to create a church in the name of Beyonce. <laughs> With that said, guys, this brings us to the end of this episode. There are also several religions like Buddhism and Jainism that don't necessarily believe or reject the existence of any god. So perhaps if you enjoyed this one, maybe we'll work on a part two in the future. Either way, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, share your thoughts and comments down below. And if this is your first time here to the channel, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. We post videos daily here on FTV Facts, so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.